Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54. We've got Lizards in Blizzards versus Undead, all four coach versus Tempest Soul. And in the booth with me, there is Dimmy G and Flagel Snob. Hello. 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 Yeah. I like that uh, I'm now back to being Florida Snarf. Yeah, All sorry, time. yeah, and Dave will Well, I see Flagel Snarf and I see Flagel Snarf. Flagel? I'm like, I'm like the guy in, a, you know, what's it uh. called? Anchorman. I just I see it and I see it. I can't help it. I like Lamp. <laughs> no, not him. The one who's the reading the teleprompter. And that's it. In the case, that is, I like Lamp. Oh, you he, meant the actual got... Ron Burgundy. Yeah, yeah, he's Ron got... Burgundy. He's got three <laughs> dwarf linemen on his team. <laughs> What's going on? He does, yeah. yeah. <laughs> three plug tackles. Down a bunch of TV, he's got a... He's got a, yeah. uh, he's got a couple of AV bus dwarf and linos there. What's <laughs> going on? How's he managed that? Yeah. Lacking thick skull as well. Dice. Um, yeah, so they he's do good, come with reading. So. Yeah, yeah, they've got reading. So he's got a lone and mummy. And a babe with inducements. Yeah. And uh, the lizards. Yeah. Got two pommers. Got two pommers. I'm pretty sure we said one of these was going to be guard, and he just thought, no, flip that. And two can reach for pom. <laughs> Jesus. He really hates skinks. <laughs> yeah. I think guard was better. And guard. He hates guard as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure guard was better, so you can actually yeah. get to hit things. Yeah. Because hey. uh, being outstrengthened and bullied by lizard sorus is uh, it's a sad time. Yeah, that's how you lose. Not because when you hit a skink, you don't kill it, so you pile on your kill. Yeah. yeah. You you lose because the, the lizards, well, the sorus absolutely maul you to death. <laughs> Bore you to death is what you said, right? <laughs> I could have done, but no. <laughs> oh, no, this is going. Hello. <laughs> oh, no, <I'm> <laughs> no. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> stay with us. <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Piling on did remove. <laughs> did remove a Saurus, so there you go. Is he gonna. Oh, you know, the. the oh, always mummy pile on. The mummy can go in to make it a 2D. It's what we've learned this chalice always pile on because it always works, and not piling on doesn't work because he did pile on. Correct. Rerolls for the power. Fishing for the pal. Gets the kill. Oh my god, brilliant reroll. Strength 5 is dead, and Apple only half works. He's still miss next game. Wow. Uh, that, that was a quick game. <laughs> well, don't say it's over. I mean, you know, two are going to come back for the second half, maybe. But uh, yeah, that strength 5 is huge, isn't it? It's not GG on turn two, come on. Come on, guys. Uh, three Saurus out. That's just the drive, though, right? It's not GG. The, the drive is done, yes. <laughs> but there's still, like, a one turn, and there's still, uh... Those Saurus can be the second half. As bad of a dicing as you can get in two turns. Pretty much, yeah. Yep, yep. But it's still not over. Don't say it's over. Oh, but I'm gonna come back in half second half. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay attention to I that. think Dimmy's already gone. <laughs> yeah. Two D on the ball though. <laughs> exactly, Gary, that's the thing about lad uh, well about like chalice and that wasn't it, it was just like it's just it's the same with leagues as well right you spend all you spend weeks 30 weeks of real yeah. time building your team and then you know yeah. your team can just disintegrate in two turns like this yeah 
in a favorable matchup. Yeah. Because someone took piling on instead of guard on their fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> and now, and now, wait, was that that wasn't a blitz, was it? No, okay, but another. Ah, uh, he removes the third, the fourth one. Cool. Oh wow! Does the block there? I hate that because he could have just filled it. This, this zombie could have just filled that, and then he would have had to scatter the ball, which is better, isn't it? Because then you can uh, then you can blitz again like, after the scatter. Yeah. Where's everyone gone? Hello, Dimmy. Hello. 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 They all got destroyed. Look. Three killed and a miss next game. Strength five. App all gone. The lizards have almost lost. Did you mute me, Jim? No. Can you not hear me? I can hear you. Dirtle can hear you. Yep. The stream can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, headphones assigned to the wrong. Uh, what's it called? Assigned to the wrong headphones. Well, look. After saying it was over, <laughs> Skink's got the ball. <laughs> That's legit hilarious. But probably not enough. Still hilarious. I mean, one time in nine, it's enough. Oh my god. Um, Timmy put the headphones. No, you know, like, what's it called? Um, Discord could be set to the wrong speakers, couldn't it? We were just very lucky with one called Meow Cat. <laughs> we were just very flipping lucky. Don't say it's over. <laughs> Classic. Cliff and Cameron Hawkins. Wow. Makes the dodge. Might not pow. Might not pow. Doesn't pow yet. Does pow. I can hear you. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Jim. You alright, mate? Yeah, I'm alright. How are you? Oh, I just experienced some uh, technical difficulties. It's all fine. I'm back. I'm alive. I'm safe. <laughs> you made on. it back just in time to see uh, the skinks that ran off. Yep. The lizards are like, they're getting absolutely banged on here. What's going <laughs> yeah. on? Yeah. They're dead. <laughs> but they've got a chance. Yeah. Uh, That sprint on that. It yeah, is, yeah. That, yeah. It's Scott! Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> I wouldn't believe that. Oh, yeah, the defense is over instantly on turn two. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hero. <laughs> wow. What a hero. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Actually, it's. <is. laughs> yeah. The match equity is still not great, is it? No. But yeah, just defensive well, Daka now. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it did help the Tempers went to the Space Cadet School of Orbit. Yes, but I mean, you have to still be able to go for it and then succeed. So, well done. I'm not sure you would, Adev. <laughs> I'm not sure you would. Oh, 
Right, Undead is still favourite to win this, right? Chances are it's 1-1 at the half. And then 2-1 full time. Yeah, I'd rather be the only one here. I hate, I hate playing both those teams, so I'd rather not be in either, so... <laughs> I mean, I'd rather not play Blood Bowl, which is what I chose to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thought you. Thank you. Oh, was that a Space Cadet quote, or is that just a dog-to-the-dog -dog joke? <laughs> Anything's possible. Adev is a disciple of Dio, so... So anything's possible. <laughs> Dad wouldn't have made the last cheer five right of this game. <laughs> <laughs> Post three roll GFI. Uh, Devo played Dio. Um, it overlapped with the Rick game though, so by the time we knew about it, well by the time Elliot mentioned it, um, like the Rick game, you know, it was already like over half open. So if I'd started doing it live by the time we caught up, it would have been over anyway. So there's no real point doing it live. So, uh, so we'll do a replay of it. We'll do a replay of it soon. Well, I'm not going to say that, am I, Ham? And nobody tell Ham. <laughs> nobody tell Ham. <laughs> yeah, that is a dumb question, Ham. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask in Devo's Discord or PM Dio or something. But... And if you do, please don't come here and tell us what the result was. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow. Looks like a pretty easy score. <laughs> it <isn't> a draw. <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. Might, maybe you should just do it next, just because, you know, it's. Uh, people will want to know. Yeah, that's fair. Normally I do do them in order, but maybe break that for the big game. The big match. Only here to see that one. Wow, they did. Well, all the more reason to keep you suckers watching all these games first, then. <laughs> <laughs> One idiot here, Dev. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got to watch four more matches and then I'll end the stream and leave the die on match till tomorrow. <laughs> then you've got to come back and watch another four matches before we get the die on match then. <laughs> yeah, Tempestor will be absolutely bamboozled, right? That he didn't remove like three lizard men that time. Uh, it's insane. <laughs> Might as well just have banned in the match now. That's the point. Yeah. And this actually isn't that easy. Well, I guess, yeah, you just blitz with a mummy and then you've got the assists. Wait, what? Oh, so we can POM as well, yeah, of course, yeah, maximize the banging. Maximize the banging. Why but to the money? And you can maximize banging. That was good play, wasn't it? Doesn't need to be too far forward. Correct play. Oh, this looks like a fun and interactive game of Blood Bowl. Mm. Oh, no, it's not correct. He hasn't got a cage. He's got a crucifer cage. Right, so it was terrible then. Good, I'm glad I'm right. 
<laughs> He's got a flippin' crucifixage. So he just what? gave up, he just gave up Hang on. a really what good chance a... to score. Can you reason. explain to me what a crucifixage is? Uh, it's a cage with only three corners. What Chris did yesterday. Yeah. Oh, I didn't really do it too much. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Oh, I, I heard about it, but I didn't see it, yeah. And that was uh, when... Why the hell didn't he 2D the ball? What the fuck bear. is this? This is, uh, I'm going to red dice a ball. I'm not even going to hit the ball. <laughs> you could have literally 2 dice the ball. I, I think I think you need to do that in a bit of a higher wish. Gary on. You won't get Gary on. <laughs> Ban this guy for 17 seasons, please. And he sidesteps away from the... Oh, look, and he got powered, all right. Fair enough. And I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm losing my shit. That was... What the flip? Oh, oh and he powered... He powered the blodger as well. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. Look at dog. That was crazy. That was crazy. He didn't even try and stop it. What the flip? What the flip? <clears throat> O4 coach, though, I don't recognise that name. To be fair. I've, I've seen it before, yeah. I don't know who he is, but I, I've not seen the name. And, uh, yeah, Chris, Chris made a bit of, uh, in my opinion, a bit, well, no, it was a bit of a mistake. Because he could have, uh, he could have. Hold on, hold on, Jim. Hold on, Jim. Hold on. It, was it in your opinion or was it a mistake? Because uh, like we're not very clear on this. <laughs> it was definitely a mistake. Like he, he, ended oh, right, okay. a, he ended up with a three-sided cage for flip's sake. <laughs> you know? So uh, factually made a mistake. Yeah. Well, in Jim's yeah. opinion. Okay. There was an upside to what he did in that he got a two dice <laughs> rattle. Gun, but I'm confident enough to say that it was definitely a mistake. Yeah, making uh, a three-sided. In hindsight. Three oh, no, no, I, t I said it before he did it, and I was shocked that he did what he did. Because I'm like, why is he doing what I would have done? <laughs> I honestly, isn't sidestep just better than sprint? Like for this? I mean, yes and no, right? Like if you can get the pushes, then sprint's better. But I mean, mm. I'd go sidestep first anyway, because sidestep's just more useful while you're playing with the ball, isn't it? That's the thing. And hang on, hang on. How many tackle zombies has he got? I'm, oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Love it. So he's not trying. No, no. Really not. Hmm. He's going to use his second blitz to do the one turn, Jim. Completely lost. <laughs> Badly hurt, though. Oh, oh ice bridge, Jim. Boo. Yeah, he's probably just giving up here. I guess he's giving I up. I think, but... yeah, I think I think that's clearly the case. But, like, I mean, okay, he lost the strength five, but he was still in this. He could have easily stopped the touchdown, being 1 0 up, and then, you know, bang in a quick one in the second half, and he's, uh, you know, he's 2 0 up and he's 1. Well, he can maybe hang on. Or he could have 1 turned and been 2 1 up, and then, you know, obviously the 1 turn wasn't easy, but it was possible. It was difficult. It was a difficult 1 turn, but it was possible. Um, I mean, very unlikely, very unlikely one turn, actually. It might have even been the correct decision not to try for it. But, um... I don't know, with the sidestep, I, like, I think... And, like, the tackle isn't spread across the back. I, I definitely would have given it a go. Yeah, no re-rolls, though, and it's like a 3 plus to pick up, 3 plus to hand off. Oh, he had a re-roll, because he just oh, failed to catch, and then he just uh, caught it, and then and then he put a foul in, so he um, definitely had a re-roll. Oh, fair enough, then. Yeah, with a re-roll, then it's, it's worth trying with a re-roll. I thought he just did. Um, he has got like five Soros, so... Yeah, he's not out of it at all. Like, he's not out of it at all. He's just he's just thrown, because I guess he was defeated mentally. What Do you know what he needed, Dimmy? Confidence, Jim. Confidence. It's true, yeah. isn't it? I, like, honestly, you guys can rib me, and I've heard, I've heard <laughs> myself talk, and I know how bad it sounds. But I still stand by what I said. <laughs> that confidence is underrated and that you need to go into every game believing that you can win. Well, that's not really what you said, did you? What you said yeah. was all I need to beat the purple goo is confidence. <laughs> <clears throat>
<laughs> that's yeah. I mean, that was the uh, exaggeration of of what I was trying to get get at. Yeah. So like you you can't go into a game thinking that you've lost already. Like, no. That's what it's what I was trying to say, but obviously I'm a moron. You know? <laughs> well, if you'd said that, then yeah. I mean, the the mental aspect of Bloodborne is important, right? Like it's the same with any game, right? The mental yeah. aspect is going to have a big effect and is super important. So. Like, that's the thing is like because like Crucifer doesn't stream anymore and that like I get the impression that he goes into every game believing that he's going to win that game regardless of what the matchup I mean to be fair normally the matchup is in his favour but <laughs> but like do you know what I mean like, I feel like he's like a really hard character to like sort of worry about games and stuff whereas there's other people that are uh, going into games with a lack of self belief and uh Maybe don't play as well as they could because of their lack of self belief. Yeah. Or because they've got too much. Like it's a bit. But yeah, like the mental aspect is is just just it's like there's there's loads of aspects, isn't there, of of mental. mental oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Game and it's it's all super important. And that's the other thing as well. It's like right, like especially in this chalice, like maybe not so much in other chalices. Is like how much exposure has like the newer coaches had to high level blood bowl? Like mm -hmm. it's like you you can get a qualifying run without being exposed to too much high level blood bowl, like especially in, probably in this chalice rather than others. Um and like to be honest, like you, you can freeze through blood bowl like winning twenty games in a row if you just don't bump into the wrong person you know um whereas in chalice it's inevitable you're going to bump into someone who knows how to play blood bowl very well and who will have like a deep knowledge of racial matchups win conditions like all the the higher level stuff that you can only get in certain places <clears throat> um so it's just a question of experience and all that sort of thing yeah and like i think it's i think it's kind of safe to say that maybe 04 coach hasn't had as much exposure to adversity. Mm. I mean it f feels like he's definitely given up here doesn't it and he definitely should I don't know I don't know like this is alright this this yeah. turns fine. It's not what I would do but it's fine. I mean, like, it's like a half lizard da daco. I, I would have thought you would have thought this is the best play he's made all night, to be honest. So. <laughs> uh, I mean, a half daco isn't <laughs> as good as a full daco, is it? You shouldn't full daco with lizards, probably. But, um... I don't know, you know, like, they, the, like the, the Saurus are moving. The problem is the Saurus get pinned down, like, without the uh, break tackle and the thing. Like, the, like, they don't have the ability to break free that other players have, right? So. Mm. But they're still fast, yeah. And the, the the problem is, is like they can outrun zombies, right? So if you did a full daka, but like yeah, once they break through, they're just gonna get tagged and then they're gonna get stuck. But if you could burn, like if you could burn four turns without getting paced, <laughs> then potentially there is, uh, and like against mummies as well, the daka's pretty good against mummies as yeah, well. It is, yeah. Like it's a bit of a weird one. Uh, the, the problem is the ghouls, right? The ghouls are the ones that are going to come, come for your ball. But I mean, they're not the most agile. I mean, the thing is, Ed, if I'm not saying that Liz aren't good at a DAC, or it's just that they're really fucking good at a normal drive, aren't they? That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, just punch and... I mean, he's got what he wanted here. Like, you can just sit here and punch and not have to worry about the ball this time. Yeah. So where's he going with this? I don't know. I think he's breaking through. He's got three free skins. A little early, a little early. I wouldn't even bother. I I just punch. Like no, I tr good. I would have tried to blitz the pommer somehow. Yeah. I think. Oh, mm. sure feet pops. Yeah. Does the job well. Yeah, it does. I think Tempest Soul might be in trouble here. Might be. Yeah. Yeah, Bumble around and me successful to the Lizards is a, is a basically it's almost unbeatable game plan. 
<laughs> it's shockingly effective. <laughs> well, the other thing is, right, is if he does get Ooh. forced in early and score, and then the undead have got a tricky three turn or four turn, and there's a 50% chance he just wins the kickoff anyway, like in mm -hmm. overtime, and then probably still wins. Like. Yeah. Still massive favor. Well, not massive favorite, but he's, like team-wise, should be favorite at this point. Mm. That was a brutal dub skulls there from the Croxy, which is uh, not really affected the. <laughs> The score, but you know, gave him some emotional damage. Might have affected the timing of the score. Mm hmm. But yeah, he should be. He should be in from here. If he's not in from here, I'll be shocked. Yeah. Oh. But I've been shocked many times. Oh before. well, there. Look, there is. There is a tag at least. So. Mm. Whoa! It's not a sidestep goal though, is it? So we do do we do the one D with the bludger or do we do the dodges? The dodges. Yeah well the one D with the dodge you've got to dodge off anyway, haven't you? So Yeah, but it's triple dodge with the ball carrier. Yeah. Yeah, oh I, my god. I would have done the wand. I think mean, he's going for the triple dodge. Ooh! It sure looks like he is, yeah. Oh no, he's going oh, no, back and through. Oh yeah. Oh, he's not going through. Oh, he's running all the way back. Oh my god. To okay. the bomber. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good though, isn't it, actually? That's pretty good. But he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. I mean, that would have been pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, it's better than scoring. Well, I say it's better than scoring early. It might not necessarily be better than scoring early, but it's not. I mean, the Pommer. He had a 3 plus 3 plus there for the ball sack. Yeah, and three, four, wasn't it? Oh, was he? Yeah, it was 3 4, right? He was. Oh, hang on, yeah, yeah, sorry. He was here, sort of thing. One back, yeah, yeah four, three, four, yeah. I mean, it made a removal, so yes, they did. <laughs> Do we like that bomb? <laughs> yeah, Hancock should have pommed that goblin. <laughs> goblin! <laughs> <laughs> All part of the process. Oh, right, yeah, because he was based, wow. Is that 4D with Wrestle? Oh my god. Yeah. Better lucky than good. So if only he dodged again through there, he'd have been here, he'd have been hit on four dice, not on four, and then he would have just scored. Because now, I guess he can go up the sideline, can't he, with side Yeah, stuff. he can get right away from that Wrestle guy. It's Ooh, just that. Oh, it's a 1D, huge 1D. But he can blitz, he can chain himself, can't he? Even? Uh, yeah, if he runs the skin all the way round yeah, and then the blitz, skin around, yeah. stamp, but you blitz him. Oh no, you're not blitzing wrestle, are you? You're blitzing the the tackle. Yeah, yeah. Well, that would have been the best thing. Doesn't see it. <laughs> Just a push. Which is, I mean, the the benefit of this is you're pushing the tackle off. But now, what square is he dodging to? Because mm -hmm. he's dodging. Are oh, you doing it that way? Sideline, okay. sideline. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Your feet pops, doesn't care. So you're gonna GFI here, and I think you're probably better off like just doing the dodge right to cut the corner. Oh, yeah. You then built reroll. Yeah. I mean, you're not better. If you're willing to throw in the reroll, then it is better to do the GFIs with more higher percentage. But still, if that's your plan is to get him to there, I would still, I would still have rather done the dodge so that I didn't use a GFI. Yeah, so I didn't use a reroll. If you see what I mean. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you can hit him with a wrestle ball. 
but there's a lot of dodges. One dodge for this guy, though. Gets the pow. Oh, Just wow, he's good. Yeah. Maybe here to get a, get a good throw downfield. Okay, now it looks dire. How many rerolls lose? It's got one. I mean, it's not, he's not knocked over, so he could potentially pick it up, run it back, hand over to him, and go back to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Maybe it's not if this girl gets it. And that makes things more difficult. Only slightly. Yeah. Dice. Mm. Still think the player though is to uh, is to one D this mummy. And two D. Well, yeah, yeah well, I would have one D'd him, but I think two D. It's better, yeah. You would have scold, mate. Cause I could have then I could have blitzed somebody else. Wait, so what is blitz? All right. Oh yeah, right, yeah well, that's two D. Oh, he's just killed him. Jesus. Oh. Did, did he not use wrestle? No, because the skink hasn't got block. Uh. So it's a turnover, but it's killed his goal. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't reach any, but I mean, how unlucky is Tempest Soul? Oh, wow. Awesome. Imagine that not regening. Yeah, he was the last one to activate. That was yeah, not what I would have done. <laughs> Brilliant. Expensive. Oh, Jakala raided you. Hello, Jakala. Hello. 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 That was so funny. I can't remember what game I was playing. I was playing Foxhole and uh, someone said hello to me and I went, Hello. And they went, Oh, you're German. And I was like, No. <laughs> I was like, No. <laughs> I am far from German. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Hello. <laughs> Are you German? <laughs> but it's like it's ingrained into me now. Like even people at work, like I go, hello. <laughs> I go, hello! <laughs> Fantastic! It is, mate! Like, it's just like that's how I say hello now. <laughs> hello! <laughs> yeah, European still. Yeah, I never lived in Germany, though. No, oh, true. Oh, look at that, and I think it was worth doing the do geophys with the crocs there last turn. Obviously, you 30% just have nothing, but if you do it, then it makes it so much harder to deal with, and I think that was an you know, experience, as you alluded to earlier, leaving this guy in range of the money. Yeah, they're, they're like, they're the telltale signs. It's like, not getting scoring threats on turn 7. Um, like, not putting people out of range properly. Like, there's a few like telltale signs on like player level. Right? Yeah. Not scoring on turn eight, of course, is the is the biggest one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, that's just obvious. Like when they're, they're two turn elf coach, and you're just like, okay, how many games of Blood Bowl have you played? <laughs> two. Oh, right. Okay, there we go. When I was in Germany, I didn't meet one person who wasn't like over the top nice. Like it was weird. Like they were. Like, yeah, like that's pretty far. Pretty far from English or British. Or yeah, like, really it. far from <laughs> British. Yeah, really yeah. far from. It was. It was like the Twilight Zone. Honestly, it was like, am I in a parallel universe? Like, what's going on? Is this the Truman Show? <laughs> it was like it was Mate. so weird. Everyone was Mate. so nice. My, my cousin Danny moved out from like Islington to uh, like um, like the suburbs of like the really posh parts of Essex, and he was like, 
Oh, I didn't know what happened. People like you'd be walking to the shop to get a paper, and people would just say hello to you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, does your head in? <laughs> I was like, that's nice, man. That's nice. Like, he's in. He's in. He's in. Yeah, uphill blitz. He's like, does your head in? They just talk to you. They ask you how your day is. <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> There you go, that was... Yeah, uh, that's got to feel like... That's got to be... I hope um, Zero Four looks at that and kind of analyzes it and has looked back. Because there's definitely things that um, he could work on. That, uh, like, that was a really, really strong position for him, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Like, despite getting banged out instantly as well, right? So, like, that Yeah, was... it was the second half. Like, that's the thing, isn't it? Blood Bowl is a game of two halves, like... Yeah. And, like, yeah, the first half, the second... And, but the fact that he got the score was brilliant. Um, like the fact that you can see the squad didn't matter too much. Mm. Um, but yeah, positionally he could have been a bit more tip top, planned the drive thoroughly through uh, the second half, and uh, you know. Yeah, I mean the, the the red dice to score just needed a push right to get him out of the way, but obviously getting the power was very lucky. Yeah, didn't didn't, didn't miss. This it, is the other thing, right? The other thing that you got like because he did run back, which yeah, I reckon is correct if like you're confident that you're gonna like be able to go from there but like if not like just get the score get the score make it 2-1 and then you've got the overtime toss to make it like like 50-50 chance to get a drive and like lizards are going to score fine on a, on a whole drive like when there's no pressure to score in turn 8 when it's just score as early as you can like it's so easy with lizards so um like yeah it's, it's a tricky one but yeah well played uh, good chalice game yeah there you go and uh Right, um, thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you very much, Dimmy, first of all. Glorious having you in the booth. Lies. Um, <laughs> thanks, Dirtle. I, I don't recall if he said any words during this match, but... <laughs> Hello! Not, not during the second half, no. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I did, did uh, until Dimmy came back. I mean, oh, yeah, of course, yeah, because you said it was over on turn two, and then it nearly wasn't. Yeah. It nearly yep. wasn't, but uh, it was over. Yep. <laughs> so I was right. <laughs> and, um... He was silently panicking, going, Oh my god, this is going to win! <laughs> <laughs> I, better be pre I better pretend to be AFK. <laughs> uh, this is yeah, turn 8 versus Ungern all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Right, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>